giant tit on her roof. Ah! I will not a certain trying to go make it easy. So tired. So. What's up, Goosey? Hi, I'm Joshua Kimball, and this is the 46th vlog of Quarterly Stories, which is the vlog where I talk about the process of uh, creating my graphic novel, Quarterly Stories, um, which is a story about faith and mental illness. And uh, it's a very personal story to me uh, that I hand write, hand letter, and hand ink. And this is the vlog where I document the process. So, today, I have a few things that I need to get done. One. So this guy over here needs to go over to his cousin's birthday party. Two. And I might have mentioned the Alexandrite issue that I was randomly contemplating in the car of replacing that stone on our, um, my wife's engagement ring. And so we're going to go get it set because we ended up finding the stone. Three. And I'm going to pencil panel four of Quarterly Stories, page 46. So pretty crazy day ahead always moving forward on comics. I'm gonna do this vlog really short and sweet. I think Benji got a phone call. I will not say it's why school making this day. So, so, that's it. Also, good day. So, it's been a pretty productive week since the last time I vlogged. I penciled panel one of page 46 of Quarterly Stories, which I'll show you right now. Panel two. And panel three. One, two, three. So, um, as you can see, pretty productive so far, and what I'm planning on doing tonight is penciling panel four. So um, that'll do it. It's a really weird day in California today because it kind of feels like Portland. Here, I'll show you. So my, does it feel like a nice sunny California day? Oh yeah, soaking in the sun here. Peppa Pig Cats. just got back from my niece's birthday party, which actually was really fun. Benji had a blast, and then we went and got the stone set on the ring, and we're supposed to be picking it up around six, so we'll see how it looks. Maybe I'll get a little video of it. And then um, aside from that, I also just managed to pencil panel four of page 36, so my daily working on comics is complete. And for those of you who don't know, I usually put in about 30 minutes a day uh, to work on comics. Some people are doing the same thing as a challenge called the 100s that was started by my friend Kevin Cross, and I highly encourage anybody who wants to work on anything uh, to improve their lives or whatever, to just set aside 10, 15, 30 minutes. What you'll find if you put in that 30 minutes a day is that um, these big daunting projects tend to actually get accomplished. So what's pretty cool is by putting in 30 minutes a day, I have gotten to the point where I'm penciling page 46 of my graphic novel, whereas before I started this 30 minute a day work habit, I was on page zero. You know, if that shows you the power of this kind of just work habit, which I think most people build into their schedule so they want to get this stuff done, especially on top of freelance work or full-time work. Um, I just highly encourage it. So I'm feeling pumped, got a lot accomplished today, and I am done with my comics work for the day. We went to get the gem set on my wife's engagement ring, and 
The person who said it had actually scratched the surface of the gem, which is a really hard mistake to make. They're saying that they will replace it. If not, we'll probably have them pay for the value of the gem, but that doesn't pay for the value of the time and energy that we put into it. Crap happens. So point being, hopefully they stay true to their word and they find a gem that is of equal value and we can get the thing replaced. In the meantime, we'll just kind of wait it out, see how they do. This isn't all about gems and rings and stuff, but in my last blog, you can see the, the thinking on it, if you look at episode 45. And like any time you face clear skies and non-stormy weather and you get through it fine, that says nothing about your character. But how you handle storms and uh, how you handle when like you're on a ship and it goes off course and things get a little tenuous really dictates like how well you sail and um, if, and says a lot about your character as a, uh, to keep with the ship analogy, as a person on the ship. And so I am trying to be a positive person on the ship and we will get through the storm and we'll see where it ends up. But at the same time, I will admit to being slightly disappointing. All right, um, see you guys next week.